How's it going everybody? Epic here again. We're going to do another tutorial for you guys on something called the speed vault. This is one of those vaults that's literally point A to point B as quickly and easy as possible. So if you're into that kind of thing, this is for you. Uh, it's a little challenging to get the timing right and to get the right like momentum. It's, you'll see, you'll figure it out when you guys go and train. But it's a really good move when you guys really understand how it works and you guys learn how to use it efficiently. It'll be one of the best speed movements that you have in your entire movement vocabulary. So let me do one real quick and then uh, I'll show you guys and break it down and we'll get to having some fun. The speed is basically, it, uh, it's one of those movements where you don't go up into it and over it. You don't want to come down on it either. It's one of those movements that to do it perfect, to do it as easily as possible. You want your momentum to just easily, barely glide over it. You don't want to go up and tap it and then come down. You want to keep that momentum going. So if you run all that way just to slow down a little bit, forget about it. You want to run and keep the momentum going as you just barely whoosh right over the top of it. All right? So think of it that way. If you want to get fancy with it and do like the little kick switch like I do, I do it just because it's flashy and it's fun and that's why we do it. But um, so yeah, let's get through the basics and then I'll walk you guys through it step by step. So one thing to, uh, to understand about the speed is that when you're doing it, you kind of want to be sideways, not dead sideways as if you're like, Line down like that. You don't want to speed like this, but you can. But the way to think about it is if you want your legs to kind of come up on one side and your hand's gonna plant on the other side, that hand doesn't push, it doesn't really pull, it doesn't push away, it doesn't shoot up at all. It's kind of just there for support. Yes, it does push. I'm not saying it doesn't at all, but you don't want to emphasize any of this, you don't want to emphasize that, you don't want to emphasize this, you're just emphasizing, boom. Watch me, Buck! Alright. So when you're going over it, it's important to know how you come out of it. Whatever foot's at the bottom, that foot is what's going to touch the ground first. Unless you get used to twisting on it. But for the uh, effective speed, you want that foot to come out and land on it. One, two. Alright? So what you want to think about when you want to start this movement is think like a lazy vault, but with only one hand. You want to kind of get used to using only one hand. You don't want to get used to putting that other hand down because it causes you to turn. So you start with one hand, swing that inside leg over, like so. Just get used to doing that. That's the basic progression for it. And get comfortable with that and drill it. After a while, you want to get used to not setting your butt on the ground. You want to follow through all the way over. So you get used to do this. Like so. And if you want to, learn how to drill that stepping out of it. Kind of get used to doing that in the early stages. So when you're going for it in the real time, you have that by muscle memory. So get used to coming out one, two, and flowing into a steady run. After a while, you're just setting one foot down. If you guys don't know what the safety vault is, this vault can help you. So if you want to think about coming up, put that foot, slide that leg through, do that, because that's what's going to help you get the idea of it, because that bottom leg is going to be the one that shoots through. And then after a while, get used to running into it and doing the same thing. So run into a speed, like so. So get used to kind of coming up to a wall and just tossing your feet over it. And then eventually, try to learn how to run semi-full speed, just comfortable enough where you have that good you know, pace, momentum, stride. And then kind of just run and try to toss your feet up, vault, and come out with the same speed, the same momentum that you started with when you went right before it. And just want to keep it going after you finish it. And that's pretty much the basic progression on how to work your way up to a speed vault and get a better sense of how it works and how it's used. Alright, uh, so enjoy this. Much the variations for the speed vault, uh, a couple slow mos for you guys. So I hope you guys really enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you guys learned a lot. Take it, apply it, have fun with it because that's the most important part. That's why we do this because it's fun. Don't forget it. Um, and yeah, don't just watch my tutorials, spread them around so other people can learn. It's not about being the best there is, it's about being the best that you can be. So take all that, take great care, and stay positive.